fitness fan. Okay, starts with e4. Let's try the French defense. b3. I have no idea about b3. Let's follow up with d4. That's the main idea of the French defense is get in that, uh, I mean d5 move, get in that d5 move with pressure on the center. So I can take, and this becomes like a, an exchange variation of the French where um, where uh, white has thrown in this bishop move. Yeah, this is kind of clever. If I play my knight here now, <laughs> it's pinned. My bishop is pinned, so he can just take the knight. I'll have to take with a pawn, and it'll leave me with this uh, messed up pawn structure. So it looks like uh, looks like he's played this way before. Let's see if I can shut down that bishop and develop my knight normally. Yeah, it's trouble with uh, new openings, unusual openings. Uh, you don't know what little tricks and traps your opponent has in store for you. Got to be alert. Let's uh, continue. We will continue to defend that um, d pawn so that I can develop my knight <laughs> and castle. And then I, if I can do that, if I can develop my knight and castle, I should really have uh, an excellent position. But uh, you know, he can try and keep things interesting. Play knight to uh, <clears throat> knight to g5 even, trying to take advantage of the pen. Although I don't know if that really threatens much. Yeah. So instead he goes after that. So another another piece to defend. I need to defend d4 once again. See, well, I could take with the knight. Or the pawn. If the queen comes out to attack the knight, I can actually play knight uh, f6 with... If the queen comes out to attack the pawn, I can play knight f6 with tempo. If he goes there, I can play the bishop move with tempo. So let's see, now my knight is pinned and he's attacking this pawn. So let's uh, defend that pawn and unpin the knight. This uh, comes under further fire. I even have bishop to f6 now. But really what I want to do is play knight f6 and castle. That's my big plan here. Okay, so if I take the knight, he trades queens. And um, if I take the knight, he trades queens. And then takes back. So he won a pawn. Let's see, this knight can't move with check, so I can attack his queen, force it off this diagonal so there's no longer a trade. His queen comes back here and defending the knight. I can um, pin the knight after that. With bishop to um, f6 because his uh, his bishop is undefended on his bishop is undefended on uh, b2 his queen is defended so he can actually move that knight with tempo Well, it's not with tempo. And he can move that knight and trade off one of these pieces. So he takes the bishop or the knight. I can take his bishop. 
yeah. But I'm hitting his um, I'm hitting his rook when I take that bishop. So his rook is hanging, and his uh, knight is hanging. He can take over here with check, but I can play king to f8. And uh, actually, I can't play king f8 because <laughs> because I need the <laughs> I need my queen. I need my king to defend my queen. Okay, but how is his uh, rook ever getting out of that corner? So what's the count? I have two rooks and um, two rooks and three pieces. He has two rooks and three pieces, and we both have queens. And um, and he's won two pawns, but it looks like I'll get the rook. Oh, you know what? I, I totally missed something. When he played knight takes g7, I could have taken that with the bishop. Ah, okay. Ah, yeah, so he's got two pieces hanging. He's got the, the knight and the rook hanging. So if he allows, I'll just trade queens and grab a piece and be up a piece for some pawns. Oh, I can do that. Okay, let's see if he discovers something else at this point. Anyway, I like these games with oddball openings <laughs> that I managed to win. <laughs> so uh, I'll probably up upload this one. Okay, so he defends his knight here, but gives up his rook. And also when this knight moves, it's not moving with check, and uh, this knight is still going to be hanging here. So I'm going to be a whole rook up, because I'll be able to... Um, I will be able to take this knight on the way out. I think that's the simplest way to play it. So it's three on two and three on two. So he's got two pawns. For the exchange, and for the rook, two pawns for a rook. So that should be, should be winning for me. Let's throw in a check. Where is his knight going? These dark squares here. Okay, let's um, get this knight out. He might be going after my f2 pawn with knight 2, uh, f7 pawn with knight h6, but he's not. Okay, so let's. Um, Hmm. I wonder if I should um, step aside with the king so that these files are open up, opened for my um, rooks. So now the trick will be to make sure he doesn't manage to uh, get some kind of draw here. By eating up all my pawns and maybe uh, trading off the rook for a piece. Yeah, I thought he might go there, going after that. Um... So if he plays bishop to... Um c4 i have knight to uh, e5 hitting hitting the bishop and protecting the pawn it may seem petty to uh, <laughs> pay so much attention to that pawn but uh, but the pawns may be the margin by which i win at the end okay let's, let's bring this other rook out here And um, hmm, that would be asking for trouble. He's got this.
Let's go there. That will stop this uh, bishop c4 idea and then, then my uh, knight. Maybe I can maneuver my knight around to chase his knight away. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> rook to uh, rook to d6 was uh, walking into this fork here. Knight back to f5 would fork the rook on d6 and the rook on e7. So I almost, I almost blundered into that. Okay, so he's going there. My uh, my knight is defending that pawn, so let's um, let's push his bishop around a little bit. Yep. So it goes there. So now his knight can't go to that square. So I could play rook um, rook to d6 here. The attraction of that move, rook d6 is that then I can move this knight with tempo and his knight will have to relocate somewhere. It doesn't have um, doesn't have many good squares. So, for example, knight here, and his rook is hanging, knight here, here he takes it. Hmm, yeah, it's not so simple. Okay, so maybe just knight back to here. Two, um support my rook and allow this trade if he wants it. Maybe this rook can penetrate onto the second rank here. So he trades, then um, needs to find a new home for his bishop. Okay, so if I take the bishop, he takes the rook, I take back. And I am uh, two knights up. But he got, he got, <laughs> yeah, exactly, this is a kind of difficult position. He got a lot for that. He got, um, he has three pawns now, and I have to, I, you know, it's hard to mate with two knights. I think, yeah, it's not a force to mate with two knights. So we will start by, um, preventing this pawn from coming forward. And then I'm going to walk my king over here and try and uh, win these pawns. Yeah, let's see. So knight to um, d5 to f4 check will force his king back. And also stops him from moving this pawn forward because the check will pick up a pawn over here. So let's do this check. Let's see, so it's that square. Yeah, it's not so hard for me to get my king in there either. So he's going to come around that way. Well, that's good. That allows me to mop up these pawns over here. 
and uh, he can't break through with his king on this side. So that, that was a definite mistake. It's more dangerous when he kept his king in the middle here because he's never <clears throat> never making any progress on this side and his king got too far away. Okay, so I can take this pawn. I can attack this pawn. I can defend it. Pushes I take, yeah. I went over here with a knight and a pawn. So the knight goes back here to defend the pawn and then sacrifices itself to uh, stop the other pawn. A little bit of a tricky endgame. Okay, so he didn't take it right away. Okay, let's uh, <clears throat> step aside here. Make room for the pawn to come through. Okay, so that's even easier because I can just take take with the knight there and then he can't really make any progress. still has uh, two squares. The knight is controlling the uh, queening square, so he has to step back and then I queen, so he resigned. Anyway, yeah, interesting game. I will upload this into a postmortem and see you guys later.